let's call the meeting to order. I don't think we have to vote on it. Chris seems to think we have to vote on it. <laughs> we don't really have a vice chair, but uh, whatever. Um, any adjustments that you have? Nope. I have one I forgot to put on here to talk about the insurance claim. The other, the boot thing. So I guess we could do that under the road commissioner's report, maybe, since Brandy's not here. Approved bills and payroll orders. We've got two signatures already, so that's pretty much all we need. And the minutes. The only couple of corrections I made from the draft was I put in the um, the information on the grader that it was coming from United Construction and Forestry and it was a John Deere, blah, blah, blah. So I looked that up and found that. Otherwise, it's the same as what I sent you before. And those two folders that I left there are background information on these two issues we're going to have to deal with soon. Okay. Public comment? Hello? <laughs> okay. And the annual memorandum of understanding between the town and the fire department is being put off until next week. The next meeting, that is. April, I think, is the 24th. Town Clerk's Report. Um, I have been doing Zoom meetings for the current use program. They're putting all of those online mm. as of right now. Mm -hmm. So we've had two three Zoom meetings on that, getting us up to speed so we can get that done. And yes. I also attended one for the Vermont Pie, which I'm not quite on top of that one yet. Mm -hmm. But they will... That's just, that's what you have to do at your end, right? I mean, yes. the listeners have a whole other bunch of... Correct. ...stuff they have to learn. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure the um, annual clerks meeting that's going to be in Fairley on, I believe it's April 27th, I'm sure they will go over that pie mm. and curry use there mm. too, see it's, yeah. it's all new Something online. new, yeah. Yeah. And the recordings have slowed way down. Really? I think for the month of April I've gotten four. Really? Oh. Yeah. Well. So maybe it's just the law before year. the next storm. Yeah. <laughs> You can sign these if you're all set with them. And where do I sign? Just on the bottom? Back. Yeah. Oh, right here. Right next to your name. Yeah. Next to <laughs> okay. It is about all I've got. Yeah, well, that was fast. Yeah, we have, um, I think we're up to 109 dogs registered uh -huh. now. Yeah. Where last year we had 196. Oh. So we are going to send out the reminder notices that you need to get your dog mm -hmm. license. And if it needs to be rabies shot, you have mm -hmm. to have those also. Mm -hmm. Pam's got the cards done up for that, and they'll be starting to be sent out. <sighs> so so and with, now that you've got that NEMREC system, hopefully it's easier. Yes. It all comes out of there. Yep. Mm -hmm. and it's much easier to do a dog license now because you... Pull the screen up and you put in last year's tag number, mm -hmm. and all oh. the information just flows right in. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hmm. And then when you put in this year's tag number, let's say your dog was six last year, the system will automatically mm -hmm. put it up to seven. Six. What do you mean? The, the dog, dog the tag was six number? years. No, the dog was six oh, years old age. last year. Oh, okay. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. It works slick. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. So I don't think I've got anything else. No brandy, so we don't have a... Brandy did leave a treasurer's report. Oh, she did? Okay. Yes. 
She said that income from March 28th to April 10th, cash receipts was $1,050. Oh. And that was made up of library donations, book mm -hmm. sales, fundraising events, and dog licenses. Hmm. And she took in $16,832.35 for delinquent taxes. Mm -hmm. And she moved from the money market to the checking account, $10,000. Mm -hmm. uh, payroll was $7,892.88. AP was twenty thousand six sixty and eighty three cents. What does AP mean stand for? Accounts payable. Accounts payable. Okay. I've always wondered when I put those numbers in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what she had left on her paperwork here. Okay. Sure. So. Road Commissioner's Report. Okay. Mud season is here. <laughs> uh, but we've been working on it. They're, they're shaping up really fast. Uh, I think pushing off the snow early really helps. Mm -hmm. And then uh, running the rakes, the rake and the grader, places where it was dry enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and just the dry season, I think mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be in good shape. Nice. Yeah, yeah. No more snow coming? <clears throat> I see nothing for mm -hmm. seven or eight days at least. Okay. Yeah. So are the roads posted? The roads are not posted. I didn't do that. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's that's because I don't think that it's really necessary. And even more so now, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you haven't missed much. We just started on a road report. Okay. <laughs> um, so looking at the agenda, greater mm -hmm. shopping. Haven't really done anything more with that. I've gotten all the numbers. I've gotten everything. from one place, right? What's that? From one place. Is there another? There really isn't. Really? Um, Caterpillar yeah. hasn't gotten back to touch with me. First of all. And when I did talk to them, when I was stopping their facility down there, they said that they were they were eight months out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all um, so I kind of scratched them off the list. And mm -hmm. they, they, they can't even send a salesman to talk to me. And mm -hmm. I'm kind of a little frustrated with that. But, mm -hmm. um, so that's sort of where we are with that. So on that uh, John Deere one, do they ever um, offer, for example, that some town within 100 miles has one that you could go and look at and try out? Or um, you could only look at it if they had something on their lot, which... Well, they have one on the lot. Yeah, one well, that they were expecting. Yeah. Anybody else? Or, yeah, okay. Well, I don't mean anybody could buy it at any time. I know. Time, you know. <laughs> Um, Not going to get into a bidding war. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, but, yeah, so I, I can go look at mm -hmm. it. Um, I mean, that would seem to be part of the, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it would be another eight months before we finally decide how much money we have and whether we're going to do take that step. But. Right, but you've got to make that decision before the eight months start, starts. Yes, you know, right, yeah, so. yeah. That would be another eight months. Yeah. Around, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. Um, so you contacted the company about the new truck, changing it from an automatic to a yes. Uh, standard. I got confirmation today that that's not available. Ah. Uh, yeah. Bummer. The standard's not available. No. Yeah. Something about uh, they couldn't. There's some sort of reason uh some sort of they couldn't get the transmission and because they've already ordered one it would be like making a new order and I, i'm not yeah. prepared to wait yeah. that long yeah so leaving it as it is um i'll see that that truck is scheduled to be built august 1st mm -hmm. 
and the company that's going to put the body and all the equipment on it is also in line for that as soon as it, uh, as soon as it ends. So hopefully that truck will be in service by snow. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going over these numbers. It looks like the total on that truck is like two hundred and five or six thousand dollars. So it seems I've got low. Fresh, what? fresh numbers. Okay. Um, okay. We are two hundred and eleven five. Oh, well, that's not much different. And, uh, and that doesn't count the warranty. Mm-hmm. Um, he said a seven-year warranty, which is probably the, the best that we could get and I would recommend uh, is 15,000 more. Ooh. I know. I was shocked it used to be used to be 10 or 12, but it's everything's mm -hmm. going up. Mm -hmm. So that brings our total to 5. Mhm. Mm now that warranty bumper to bumper? It is. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so they say it's the cat. I mean, it, but it covers, you know, it covers the motor, transmission, drive line, all of that stuff, all those big items yeah. for the mm. second period as well. Mm. Yeah. Good deal. So we, we're all set with that. Um, those are accurate numbers. Those are the numbers that they've quoted me, and I've got paperwork proving it. So. Okay. That should be all set for that. Um, so new employees, I have yes. none. No. no. Okay. Uh, there's been no other applicants that I know of. No. Um, the one person that we had in line, I made him the offer that we talked about mm -hmm. last meeting, and he said he can't do that. No. So we're back to square mm -hmm. one. I did talk to Dave Pike, and he's willing to help out some through, this, through the mud season. Because mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. as we all know, Greg is he's working tomorrow and Wednesday, and then his operation is Thursday. So oh, well, he'll be, yeah. He'll be out of commission for a couple months. So that's looking like, sounding like, yeah, yeah. yeah. at so least a couple months. It sounds like we should advertise again for something. You think we should? That's what I was going to ask you. I think so. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure why we're not getting any response. I mean, we've advertised in a couple of different spots. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just don't know why we're not getting any response. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know part-time is hard to find, you know, because people either want a full-time or they want, mm -hmm. you know. Or they're retired and they want to... Yeah. Maybe next time around we'll be lucky enough to get a college student. Do we, do we need to? A CDL. Do we need to reframe the ad? I mean, are we expecting a CDL? Yes, it's a must. Yep. Yeah. We won't train for that, right? Um. Not for part time. Not for part time. No. No. And we're out only advertising for part time, right? Mm -hmm. So. Should we advertise for um, half time instead of part time because? The way we ever type, when we said part time, that could lead someone like the last guy to ask for thirty hours, and that's not what we had right. planned. So, so should should we say half time, or or should we say part time on call? Yeah, you know, really it's hard to find somebody yeah. that'll do that. Yeah, right, right, right. That's right. I mean, it's really it's, it's a really hard position to fill because uh -huh. you know, like I said, people want either a full time or they mm -hmm. don't want it. Unless it's somebody that's mm -hmm. retired and just mm -hmm. wants a little extra. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, I suppose, yeah, probably we should advertise again and just see, try to see if we can drum up some more. So should we go with the same newspapers again? Or should we try, like, Caledonia Record this time? What, what did you do last time? The, the world, world, the world, the Times Artist, and the Hard and Gazette. The and didn't do News and Citizen. No. Okay, so maybe it would pay to do News and Citizen because I know everybody in Hardwick gets that paper. Uh, at least if they have a post office box. 
and Caledonian is on, on the stands in Hordwick, so. It's been on Front Porch Forum, right? Mm -hmm. It has. Front Porch yes. Forum, yeah. Yeah, it was also on. Yeah. yeah. Now, at one point in time, I think I heard that we can also advertise on VLTC. Yeah, but that's kind of like for big jobs, looking for a new town manager. Or okay. Maybe I think you worth checking out, because I know, well, we don't even get their newsletter anymore. I don't know if they're still printing it or if it just comes online because we used to have get a newsletter that yeah, on the back right. page would have all these want ads. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's all it's if it's all online going. as far as yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 It's all online. Which is fine for mm -hmm. maybe some of the community that we're advertising for. But. Ms. Durkee, would you check out what it costs us to put it in the Caledonia record? Mm -hmm. In the record, please? We'll see if we you can. also want to pull from users and citizens? Yes, please. Okay. Unless you guys have... And for how long do you want to run it for? What's our minimum? I'm one week. I mean, they're all weekly, so... Well, Caledonia no. Records are daily. Oh, really? No, it's a daily. Okay. So, right. could we run it for a month? What do you guys feel about that? It's a lot. But I, guess. I guess it would depend on the cost, you know. So we can see what the cost is? Okay. But, I mean, if we don't have anybody, mm -hmm. having it circulate for a month doesn't sound like that long a period of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I already heard a, I, I already heard a, a, a shirk. Mm, no. <laughs> but, mm. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, in a month, if we wait, a, well, we don't have to wait the whole time. No, we're going to, and we should If somebody comes say, up in the first week, we can pull the ads, right? That's the idea. For the right? rest of it, so... That I will check. No, yeah, sure you can. Because yeah. if you buy it for a month, you you bought it for a month. Right. Well, it's not like we prepaid for a month or something, but I don't know. Well, maybe. Yeah. maybe they'll, they'll do it differently. So. Um, I don't think we're dripping with we're dripping with requests to take the job at right, this point. Right. So running it for a minute. What I was thinking was like in, the worst in thing. In two months, but, Greg will be back, and then we'll have three. Full times. So why are we We're not advertising it? for a full time. I know that, but do we need three and a half? Well, we need something to get us there. Right. And yeah. Really That's what I mean. There's really no guarantee that, that Greg's, right. Greg's going to come back. Yeah, right. I know, but we have That's to assume that he is. So. Can we also job. keep running it on Front Porch Forum multiple times? Yeah, we should no do reason that. Not to. Yeah, that's free. I mean, that's that's, really that's awesome. free. Yeah. And like, what about other? Like, was it shared with other towns, like surrounding towns? Mm -hmm. Went to Callis. Went to Walkit. Went to Hardwick. Went to Cabot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much further it went. That's, that's yeah. I mean, that seems mm -hmm. like yeah. the range that seems um, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could we could try to address Morrisville. And see if they would put it up. Um, I don't think the Montpelier helps us much. Mm. I don't think that Callis, East Callis helps us, but Callis, mm -hmm. you know, in a way. Um, where else are you thinking? If you check the... Uh, well, you that know, would be the range I would be thinking, really. Okay. Mm. There's a box you can check that if you want your... If you want other towns to be able to see your posting. Um, but that doesn't mean that if, if someone was on uh, Front Porch Forum in Callis, they um, could put it on. I'm on the one in Hardwick. I could put it on there. But, uh, I think Lizzie had a point. Yeah, I'm just wondering about somehow sharing it on Facebook. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't really yeah. pay attention to Front Porch Forum, but yeah. they do go on Facebook. Yeah, and there are the same ones who don't do Facebook, but they right. do yeah. get emails. So. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. I was saying, Gary Clark's very good about sharing yeah, stuff he's, for us. He yeah, likes to, he'll yeah put that's stuff true. On there. And I think I actually maybe saw it on one of his posts yeah. a while back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want a quote for a month long, and do you want like? Is there any? Well, like two, three weeks for news and citizens get a quote for that too. I, I, you know, I think they charge just charge by the by the week. Okay. I've never asked for a quote before. 
I don't well, know. What would you like, Miss Donna? No, I think just put the ad in and tell them to run it three times, or even with Times Argus, you don't want it to run it every day because that is expensive. But you can ask them to publish publish it twice a week for two weeks, or you make sure it's in there for a Friday. Yeah. That way you get your Saturday readers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would it make sense to just kind of set a monetary limit right now so that Robin knows, so that when she looks up mm -hmm. the price, she can just go ahead and run mm -hmm. the ad? So do you want it back in the Times Argus and the Harvard Gazette and along with News and Citizens in Caledonia? Oh, okay. We're thinking about going to a different direction. Yeah, I think, hmm. Do you have a sense of our budget right now? We don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's on that. I don't think it's on this. This is Miss Lizzie's point about how much we have left in advertising. Um, I don't think we have it in this print. Well, we can just say what we want as a maximum cost. Because I do not believe that this is in the budget in the print that we have. I think Brent, it seems to me Brandy told me there was a separate budget for They're very well the highway department for advertising. Yeah. But I'm not buying Which we do not see. So how about a maximum of... Highway is 02, correct? Excuse me? Highway is 02? It is 02. Office expense, I've staff, finance. Oh, account. advertising. I found it. It's on page. Oh, yeah. 10. 1, 2, 1, okay. 4, oh, 7. And so, what do we have left? $516.73. All right. So, how much, how deep do we want to go? I mean, hmm. looking at the. Looking at page page ten. Page ten. Yeah. And so it had a we had a budget of actual budget. We have spent some of that. I we think. had zero. Okay. So we, we keep don't know how much it costs per week. We don't. That's what we're. Well, I mean, for the ones we've already advertised through. Mm. Uh, I don't have a number. Were there any in that stack, Diana? Mm, there was that one that. Um, I think they would have been in either backwards. last meetings or the meeting before that. Mm. Budget. So the budget for 2023 is was $400, and we've spent $289. And last year we spent $1,200. Okay, so our ad for Hardwick Journalism cost us $134. Yeah, but was that for the road crew or the was that world? for the zoning? I have no idea, miss. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at just the top sheet. Mm -hmm. I can go back through the list. I think that's the tell zoning. You, tell you more. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our ad for the Times Argus, we went to 176 176.54. I think that's for something else. That's for something too. else. Mm -hmm. No. No. Howie, jo How Howie Job and Zoning Board total was 134.68. Mm -hmm. The world for the highway ad and the warning ad was 476.38, but they're not broken down into separate categories according to this. So I can look yeah, back through here. They are in there. You guys looked at this. The Diane, warning you, was... You already signed it, so you should have seen these. Yeah, I should have memorized Don't you it. memorize this stuff? <laughs> I do. I noticed how the Come warning, on. that warning was like $350. I did notice that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's one thing, stuff. you know... Well, then that would make it so the highway ad was 100 and something. Yeah. But we don't know. 
If it was the world, I'm, I'm looking. you put it in two weeks for twice for the world. Okay. Of course, they don't. You know, they could have another world. one. They haven't billed us for yet. Differently. I actually did that, that in the world three times. Mm. Before we did. I think. But I won't swear to that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is just Hardwick. That's avoided. That's avoided. 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 I'm really not the best person to be doing this right now because I just got here. But you have probably been driving for a while. I'll take those yeah. wrong together. These are avoided. Those are all avoided. Avoid. All right. Yeah. So that's not helpful at all. Well. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Display ads for public hearing cost us $59.08. Display ads for Hardwick, excuse me, for highway workers cost us $37.80. We had a second display for highway workers at another $37.80. The rate was $5.40 per advertisement. So that's a Copies deal. Copies in here. That's for Hardwick. That's for the Hardwick Gazette. What's left of it? Let's see if I can find another one in here. All right, the world. Our warning cost us three hundred and twenty-four dollars, mm -hmm. and then we had two ads for a highway or worker, each at seventy-five dollars and ninety-nine cents a piece. Those were supposed to run. Hmm. through the end of March. Copy of the ad in here. Well, that's about twice as expensive as the Gazette, but they are that's in paper, so better, that's probably more expensive. More expensive. visibility, yeah. I'm not really sure. Well, it's more expensive. So that was right around $230 to, to run those. That's correct, a little over. A little over. That's all I have for advertisements that I can see directly. Hmm. Well, here we go. On our, on our other... Um, our general, uh, general fund office budget, we advert, uh, budgeted 500, and so far we've spent 1,400. Twenty-one. That was for FY22, and for FY23 we budgeted five hundred again, and we haven't spent any. So. Well, so I think for the Caledonian too, you don't want to run it every day. Why don't you say you know, twice a week for a couple of weeks. And then, if the, if you want to keep it, if we want to keep it going, you can just ask them to keep it going. Okay. I don't think it works quite that way, but you know, I do not. But mm. that's right. So what do you think? How do you think it works? Well, Miss Lizzie's point was, how much do we want to spend? Right. Yeah. Right. And I don't think we know what right what the cost is. Right. 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 So it's. Reasonable to ask for what yeah, the cost is. Yeah, they will is. give me quotes. So quotes are all yeah. right. I don't yeah. think there's any problem asking for no, quotes. No. You said we've never asked for quotes before. But I mean, maybe it's all right for to ask for a quote. Term. Usually they have a rate sheet. You know, they mm -hmm. say. Sounds great. Maybe we could see the rate sheet. Yeah. Probably in the paper. But Fine. maybe at least initially we could. <laughs> I mean, the rate sheet probably reflects the the numbers that we have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, I'm still not getting emails from you. Great. Oh. 
And they were moving our, did you get an email from me today? I did, saying the internet was down. Yes, because they're moving our emails to that new cloud. And Skip's going to come, Skip M's going to come in tomorrow and make sure it's working okay for us. Oh, great. Because we ran out of space on the old cloud. Mm -hmm. So I still haven't received your notes for the town meeting right up. Okay. I'm going to just give them to you um, as a paper copy. Okay. Well. And I'll drop them off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Because this is getting a little ridiculous at this point. Because I sent you emails today. I don't know if you checked your email or not. Uh, so I don't know if you're getting them I've from been, me. I've been in the field all day, so okay. I mm -hmm. quite frankly, that's why I'm late. I did not check emails today. Not okay. not from you all. So I'm sorry for that. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so you want to have her start looking and maybe stop at a certain amount, like $500 or $800 or anything. We need to do what we need to do, even if we didn't budget enough. I will get right on that first thing tomorrow yeah. morning and yeah. get quote. Okay. So are we going to use the same ad as we did before? Well, I was thinking we might want to reword it to say part to say half time instead of part time, and and you wrote up the ad last time, really, and I wasn't able to edit it. Oh, so you will have to edit it and send it to me again. Jeez. Oh, huh. Okay. Hmm. So once you send it around, we'll edit it hmm. as quick okay. as we can, yeah. and then we'll okay. send that ad. Okay. After we've reviewed it. Okay. So half time would be twenty hours of that. Twenty right. hours is half time. Yeah. Um, I had a another. Adjustment to the agenda that I forgot to mention. I emailed you, well, both of you today. A <laughs> um, couple of housekeeping things that we didn't deal we with. we finished oh. with the road report? No. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm just trying to move <laughs> along. One more thing. No. Okay. Uh, so I got a letter in the mail from the Slack board uh, appointing me or re-upping my appointment, and I appreciate that. But it, it's saying that I'm road foreman, and I'm actually road commissioner. Commissioner. Mm -hmm. I'll have Pam fix that. So that letter needs to be changed to road commissioner. Yeah, I'll have her fix it. I am road commissioner, right? You are? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. What, how we hired you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so okay. I just, you know, the letter says that it was reappointing me as road yeah, foreman. Yeah, that's a form letter. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she yeah. probably pulled up... Um, Greg's from last year. Mm -hmm. Just put your name in there. Yeah. I'll have her fix it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just get that letter to me. So. Yep. Yeah. But thank you for that. Sorry for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's. I'm sure. sure. I, I assume it was just a mistake, but. It is a mistake. Um, How about the letter after our uh, the letter for Tim that I drafted and sent to you? I sent it on. So. You did. Okay. You you printed it out and signed it and. Gave it to Robin so she could send it to Tim. A new one? Just recently? Well, after our last meeting. I haven't gotten one. Two weeks ago, we had the executive session. We yeah. decided yeah. to hire him, you know, for, mm -hmm. off probation. And no, I got another letter. Okay. I will print that out as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun for me. I could send a lot. Send it again if you want. No, I don't need you to think send you it again. Okay. Well, I guess I will find out if <laughs> okay. I have a draft of that letter. Oh. But Lizzie ought to see it since she hasn't. She did. Right? Yeah. If I did, I don't remember. <laughs> but it may have come. I got a lot of emails mm -hmm. in a short mm -hmm. period of time, mm -hmm. so I could look again. Well, I can send it around again. Yeah, send it around again. No Please. Problem. I appreciate that. If I can find it. <laughs> nope, find it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting a little, yeah. Hard to manage all my emails, too. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Larby, Great. all right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, 
so you there, had another adjustment that you would like to make? Yeah, there were a couple of housekeeping things that we forgot to um, deal with at our organizational meeting. And one was to say that our regular meeting time is going to continue to be the second and fourth Mondays of the month at 6 o'clock at the Woodbury Library Community Room. Unless changed, you know, but that's one thing we're supposed to say out in, in formal, formally. Uh, the other one was that our newspaper of record, we have to say which is our newspaper of record for formal advertisements, things that, you know, we have to, not like we're looking for somebody, but we have to put the notice in the paper, and that needs to be the Times Argus because... I checked with VLCT and they said we can't use the Harvard Gazette. Gazette. It would, that was always our newspaper record, but now that they're not publishing, it has to be a newspaper of general circulation in the area, and that's it now. So when we have to do something like a zoning notice, whatever we, I mean, I like to, in order to let people know, sometimes we do it twice, but it has to go in the Times Argus. Times Argus for. Form, formal stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if that'll confuse people who are used to looking in the um, Hardwick Gazette for stuff like that when we make the change. You know, people who don't do, who don't use the internet a lot. Mm -hmm. or yeah, well, we don't do like that many formal ads, but it's nice. Like, we have a, if we have a zoning ad, it's nice to put it in the Gazette because that people might see it. We want people right. to see it. Yeah. There are some things where we just, you know, it's just a formality. Mm -hmm. So I don't care who sees it. And they also go into the locked case on the bulletin board then from the post office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at the town hall, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But on the bulletin board down there, it's in the locked case so the wind doesn't blow it away. Okay. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> So the other thing under road commissioner's report or not, or under treasurer's report, VLCT is wanting us to determine whether that other um, claim should be denied. They think it should be denied because the fact that the piece fell off the grader blade or the plow blade does not indicate that it was anything that the town or the driver did wrong. She said that that's a claim that they get once in a while. There's no way for the driver to know until they get back to the shop and put their blade down that they've lost their shoe in the meantime. So she said this is a fairly common occurrence and VLCT would recommend that it be denied because the driver or the town is not guilty, it's not defective equipment or anything. Um, so Brandy is, has been corresponding with her and I finally called because I didn't really have any information on which to base that decision that she wants the board to make. So that's why they recommend that it be uh, denied. Um, if we did approve it, there is a thousand dollar deductible that the town would have to pay. Now, what I'm not clear about is if it uh, this person can still file a claim with their insurance company. I believe, right? Wouldn't you think? That'd be up to them. Oh, sure. Yes. Yeah. If there's enough damages. It was a pretty significant amount of damage, as far as I remember. From I yeah, I didn't see any of that. There was a there was one email that said that it had an attachment with the claim, but I, I either it wasn't there or I couldn't open it or whatever. Yeah, it was like six thousand dollars. Yeah. But she's driving her car. She's still driving it, so it's oh. you know, it's not disabled or anything. Huh. Um, Body damage or? Yeah, I guess the damage was down on under carriage. Yeah, it seems car, like it would have been. Under carriage, yeah. and of course the dealer, it's an electric car, so the oh, God. dealer was afraid of any wires or anything that might have got damaged or nicked a little bit. It might have, might cause problems down the road. And 
you know, there was also some shields under there that got hit. Mm-hmm. Um, so they were raked by it. Mm. Yeah, but she is driving the vehicle, so it didn't didn't disable it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you're looking for my recommendation, but I would I would follow suit with the insurance company. They're mm-hmm. the ones that are going to have to go to battle mm-hmm. if she does go to her insurance, and mm-hmm. the insur- two insurance companies will battle it out, and that's that's their job. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what I I'm not real sure about how that works, but that's what I thought. That's maybe her insurance company said you got to go to them first. Yeah. Or maybe she didn't and just hasn't done it. Yet, so. So. So we'll take VLCT's recommendation and deny it. Okay, is that a motion? It's a motion. I'll second it. Okay. Was well, it approved? Yeah. Oh. But we should communicate. I, I will let her know. We should communicate efficiently. Based on VLCT's recommendation that this is not an uncommon event. Mm-hmm. Where's my paper? She'll write a letter. The, the, this woman, Susan Rowell, will, will write a letter to the claimant and explain why it's been denied, and then the process will go on. be really nice if we had an equipment schedule so we could figure out how to finance the things that we're going to be needing in the future and at one point our auditor John Reed volunteered to work on that but hasn't yet I'm not quite clear exactly where the money was going to come from um, for the new truck, but if it's actually this amount, I mean, we've if it's actually two twenty six, we've got like hundred and fifty thousand something in the herp already, and I think Brandy said that she had not put in the FY twenty three amount that was approved last year. As of as of the last time we met, it hasn't. Is that what she been said? Added, yeah. yeah. Okay. But and I then don't know if this reflects something different. Yeah. I have to compare it. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Mr. Larrabee, compare. if you don't mind thinking about writing up an equipment schedule for replacements that we could review at some point, yeah. that wouldn't hurt us. Mm. Yeah. Based yeah, on your I best estimates. Put together, you know, something that gives all the years of the vehicles right. yep. that we have. Just a general plan of, yeah. you know, longevity of that equipment based on your best assessment, mm-hmm. yeah. age of the equipment, yeah. need for service and tuning. Yeah. You know, if we could have that, I think that that could be something we could work from. Yeah. That would be very because helpful. you really, you really the person who can do it best. Right, right. And then I we can... In Calus, we were on, the trucks were all on a seven-year Rotation. Rotation. Mm. Yeah. So every seven years it was it was scheduled to be replaced. Yeah. So we can we can do go with that and then just see where you know where we land. Where we land. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, That'd be great. That's a course, good place to start. Greater, greater is a bigger number always. Mm-hmm. So it's you know it's going to be um, going to throw things off a bit. But. I mm-hmm. think that that's what what we could use to as a starting point. Mm-hmm. That'd be yeah. great. Because yeah. I don't think we've had that unless you all know of something that I don't know of. Ms. Diana? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen our equipment schedule? Not. Uh, <clears throat> years ago, there was one that Elizabeth Thompson made up, and it was very nice, and it, like, went out years. Uh, let's start, and then, from, let's and start from what we have. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, you... Th- let's start from what we have. Oh, yeah, well, right. Uh, well, you asked if I had seen one. I haven't seen one current. <laughs> Skip to, Skip Lindsay also did one a couple of years ago. But. Okay, I've never seen one. Yeah, so maybe I'd love got, to have one. Got one 
started and uh, I can just work yep. on that. So yeah. maybe you I mean, could I, ask maybe, Skip to send one to okay, I think Brandy Michelle has Ivy. them too. Okay. Yeah, Brandy might have them. Right. Because she it's sent not them something. to me a while ago and I can't find them. So right. another email thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can only sort so many ways. Wouldn't It would be nice to start Let's start here. Have some we can things. backtrack a little bit mm. if we need to. Yeah. But let's start from here. Yeah. You're the you're the road commissioner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's not on paper yet, it really is on paper. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I'm just interested to see if we're finished with the road commissioner. Because we keep going back and forth. Are we all set with anything from Mr. Larrabee? As far as I know. Okay. I'm good. Yep. Yeah. I'm good. All right. You Thank you. Do you need me for anything else? Probably not on the agenda. We don't have anything else on the agenda for you. Okay. Mm. The way I see it. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Very much appreciate Thank you. I didn't open the meeting, so you got to keep going. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. So I just. We did a lot of work last year, uh, this little ad hoc committee on the town hall. The plan was because of our because of our because of COVID, we didn't have a good place to have a meeting that's larger than this but smaller than the gym. So we appointed uh, a committee to look into upgrades and possible winterizing the town hall. And uh, Robin was there, and I was there. Michael was there. We had a couple of of uh, historic preservation specialists, one who still lives in town and one who used to live in town, Liz Pritchett and... Uh, hmm. Mary Jo. Thank you. <laughs> Mary Jo Llewellyn. And we came up with a... We hired a person, to, a historic building specialist um, from... Uh, and he did a nice um, assessment of things that we could do. It wasn't an energy audit. We also had a partial energy audit um, by someone that was uh, part of an Efficiency Vermont program, and that's the one that didn't really end up going very far. But anyways, the bunch of stuff that need to be done there. One is to replace the north side of the roof. Uh, it's not leaking, but it's sketchy looking. And down at the bottom, the e is that the eaves? They need to be um, secured against the bats moving back in. Because when we had the bats removed, they put up a screen mm -hmm. so that the bats couldn't move back in. But it's not like something that's permanent enough. It's just they said it would be temporary. It would work for a while. So uh, there was that. We talked about having making some insulated panels that would fit underneath the, the sills, which you know vary from two feet, one foot above the ground to three feet. Um, so those would have to be custom made, and that would just serve to keep the wind out of, under the floor. They'd have to be removed in the summer because there needs to be air circulation. If, if you haven't been under there, it's pretty awesome. If you I saw the pictures. At, huh? I saw the pictures. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some big trees went into building that. Um, and they're still in good shape. Uh, the uh, Mary Jo and others really felt it was a good idea to cut back the granite steps for so there'd be, you know, two or three inches away from the sill because it was already starting to rot. Those steps have been there maybe 10, 15 years. Something like that. Yeah. Um, we talked around and around about window treatments, about replacing the furnace with something that's, not, that's more efficient and not so noisy. 
and also adding some blown in cellulose in the attic. So, uh, also it would be nice to have somebody to look into other funding options, even though we pretty much approved that for ARPA. We didn't have any firm numbers. So, what are our firm numbers? We don't have any firm numbers. So, I think we, we approved, I think we, the application we, was for like $30,000. We had approved an initial application. Right. But, so, yeah. how do we get real numbers? That's what I was going to suggest. It would be nice to advertise for somebody to, to be the clerk of the works and do that, uh, take care of all those different things. Yeah. So, they had given some estimates. In Did. this, which I honestly thought were sky high, like way too much were, money. Yeah. For um, a historical building, I guess the estimates come always high. It mm -hmm. makes I've sense because they're limited. Because they're yeah. limited in how they can approach it. Yeah. But go ahead, please, um, Ms. Lizzie. Yeah, so I don't know. I was just looking over the cost estimates for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Like these are all projects that are pretty typical of like what I would normally do. Mm -hmm. So I went through oh. and just did super rough estimates of my own for like what I would give a customer if I were doing these. Mm -hmm. um, and so like the first one, the granite steps, wooden mm -hmm. structure, um, she had the cost being like five to six thousand. I would estimate it like two thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't if I were if I were bidding that job, I would go higher to protect myself, um, you know, to cover my mm -hmm. liability. But mm -hmm. um, if I were just giving like a, you know, an estimate of what I think it would cost, I would say two thousand. Um, the next one, the cost was a thousand. I think it'd be closer to six hundred. Um, Street cornerstone. The crawl space. She had eight to ten thousand. Um, this was for the insulated panels mm -hmm. and I guess it depends on like what we'd be looking for like if we were just looking for insulation to be cut and fit in mm -hmm. um, for that I had like 2500 mm -hmm. but if it were to like custom make some panels with like a nice wooden front you know then mm -hmm. maybe you know that would be yeah. more um, and then the trim and clapboard repairs I didn't try because I haven't really seen it up close to see like the what? how much is needed. The trim and the clapboard repair. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That wasn't... But anyways, I don't, for what it's worth, I just felt like the numbers here are way higher than I think they should be. Okay. I also got a roofing estimate from the company that did the roof here a couple years ago. Twelve thousand six hundred. Um, for that one side. Mm, yep. Okay. And a new furnace. I got an estimate of four thousand two hundred and thirty-six. Well, we really talking about replacing the entire furnace? It's just an old funky thing. I mean, it's not. It's not well, the it's not efficient, and um, if we tightened up, we might not be able. We might not need to, but it would still be a. A nice thing to do if we had the money. Tana, sorry, how much did you say the figure for the furnace was? 4236 Thanks. It's a gas furnace. It's got an estimate from Bell of Ants. Oh. So, oh, yeah, and then there's a whole back foundation thing. I was going to say. showed up afterwards, yeah. That addition on the back, I guess, is uh, sinking in a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And it, it, it has dropped. Mm -hmm. So that door that goes from the little kitchen area into the furnace room does not close. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. VLTC does not like that. I think I remember looking at that a few years back, and mm -hmm. it wasn't sitting on the pier that it right. should have been, and it was it's like shifted pulling away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It shifted. Mm -hmm. So it seems like... There's no way to address this without a working group that actually addresses this in some fundamental manner. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of different components. Yeah. It's a historical building, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I was thinking of a clerk of the works type that right. would uh, um, could so deal with these different it things. It sounds huh? like, Miss Lizzie, you have a good sense of this. Mm -hmm. seems like you guys have done quite a bit of work on this. Mm -hmm. This is but the number they like, put together for the applicate for the ARPA application. But, but it seems like we're going to waste money on ARPA if we come up short. 
and maybe ARP is not the right target for this anymore. We have some funds allocated, but they're not going to get us all the way, mm. right? Yeah, I, do, I don't know. In fact, know. they're not going to even get us close. If we want to make it a year-round building, mm. um, it seems like we have to approach this slightly differently. Well, if we could get somebody to take this on as a project, they could look into other funding sources, but... Uh, Mm, it's not going to be me. Somebody being one of us. I mean, I've, of all the things that um, we've been talking about so far, this is the one I feel like I kind of do have a pretty good handle yeah. on. Yeah. Um, so if we're looking for one of us to kind of take over... Um, would be a good start. Chain, I'd be happy to do yeah. that. Yeah, that'd be great. If you're willing to. Yeah. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. So what's our, our goal is our to Our goal is it, to make it year-round efficient. Okay. Um, a functional year-round space. Okay. That's our fundamental goal. Mm. Okay. And so trying to find a way to fund that would be one of the things. That's mm -hmm. one of the aspects, yeah. but we also have to figure out what really needs to happen. Okay. It sounds like you guys have some numbers mm -hmm. for things that need to happen, mm -hmm. but I don't think we're there yet. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, um, that's, that's why I, I put it on the agenda. Yeah, I don't think we're there yet. Okay. Um, so if you would like to look into it mm -hmm. and have open access to that space so that mm -hmm. you can make your own estimates. Okay. And then we can, you know, fundamentally put it out for bid. But we're not even close. Mm. No, we're not. It's... You know, that's the reality. So, but yeah, so I guess what I was hoping that we could decide tonight, we want to go ahead with that. As a good goal, as a, as a worthy goal. That we, if... I'd rather not that not have that structure fall down upon itself. Right, yeah. Personally. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there are certain fundamental things that need to get done. We mm -hmm. need to prioritize what needs to get done, right. even if it's not making it a year-round structure yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is a functional structure. Mm -hmm. We do use it mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, we vote in there. We should use yeah. it more. We should use it as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what we need to do to make it Make it a functional space again. It mm -hmm. used to be a functional space. Yeah. I mean, my grandparents talked about it as a functional space, so I'd like to <laughs> see it that way again. Yeah. I mean, it's a personal vested interest, but yeah, really. I don't care about that. You had grandparents here? Yeah. Really? Okay. Mm. So, Lizzie, can I have that one back and I'll mm -hmm. make a copy and get it to you because I don't want to yeah, lose my, my system here. <laughs> so, Lizzie, are you willing to um, work with Diana to see the old? Information or the relatively updated information. When Mary Jo gets back, we'll just call a meeting again. You think, Robin, and get up to speed and get you there and yeah. and talk about the various. I mean the yeah. So that you understand what has yeah. been assessed. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. That would be better. Because yeah. you don't have to start from scratch. Yeah. Right. Which is oh. nice. We did have the, I don't think we took the BAT money out of ARPA. I think that just nope, came out that of the came out of our town budget. Fund. Yeah. Came yeah. out of town. Because it was needed to be addressed as fast mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. But that back section where the furnace room is that's dropping, that's not historical. Right. No, so we wouldn't have to wait for Mary Jo if we wanted something done to that now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But. Right. Miss Higgins doesn't the really. Overall. Miss Higgins doesn't know about some of those things until she gets in there. Yeah. So it's. I mean, if she's mm -hmm. volunteering to do this, which yeah. sounds like you're kind of willing to do, she really needs mm -hmm. to have a clear right. sense of yeah. what's going on. Right. Otherwise, it's yeah, not fair. Right. It's just not a fair job. Right. You have to assess it yeah. first. And all the work that you guys have done is awesome. There's. But this is someone who has the experience with old structures. Yeah, I think the, the money that we spent on that study, too, I think was probably came out of the building fund, too. I don't think that came right. out. It, no, we've never used ARPA for yeah. any of that. We did use ARPA money for the Wi-Fi. That was part of this project, too. That was part whole, of that project. We yeah. built it into that, which is, I think, that's fine. Yep. But it doesn't have to do with building integrity. Mm. Right. Um, that's what we're really worried about. 
And I think Robin was assigned to find out who put the steps in, and she called Larry, and Larry said, Joe Kilcanny, who I see has just died, but I'll try to remember to look and see what the name of his business was. Okay. <laughs> Get that. Find a way to move steps around. That's the worst. That's mm -hmm. not really the thing I'm worried about. Moving steps is not the hardest part. Hmm? Moving steps is not the hard part. Yeah, I was surprised. It's just... To me, the thought of cutting those big granite steps would be a big deal, but other people said, no, it's not that hard. <laughs> Do they have to be like, cut? They don't have like, to be could cut. they just be dragged a little bit away from the building? They can be pulled. I don't know. That would involve tearing up the pavement. and I think it wouldn't be that hard to cut them from a couple of people I've talked to. We'll have to check them out and yes. see. They can, but they can be. And I think also the, the committee met a few times, but um, we were basically trying to get a number together for ARPA and some ideas. So we didn't really have a firm. Too much that was firm. Let's not make ARPA the target. Let's make understanding what the structure needs the target. That first, yeah. ARPA can wait for other purposes for now. We still mm -hmm. have time. Mm hmm. If we don't know what we're well, asking there is for, a big, a big, pro, uh, big new energy push for money for towns. Uh, Michael mm -hmm. looked into this when it first came out, and he th thought that it sounded like it was really for bigger towns with serious, large buildings. But if it's something that we can tap into, that would be good too. Yep, there are options in there. Mm -hmm. So. I don't think we should worry about making a proposal until we know what we're really into. Right. And it doesn't sound like we understand that yet. So, not willing to go to ARPA for right. anything until we have have a clean, clear assessment. We don't. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to help, that sounds awesome. Sure. Thank you. So, if we want to move along to appointments, Happy to. Um, we one of the library trustees, well, actually two of them, of the applicants have dropped out. Okay. So the one who has not dropped out is Alicia. Alicia. I've got those letters here somewhere. Is it Renee? Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Is it Renee? Money, yeah, yeah, I think it's. There we go. Alicia Rennie, R E N N E. Professor Emerita, University of Michigan. So she's in. So. And so we're too short. No, which she's. She would fill the, the uh, place that was advertised. Dee Dee Slayton. Uh, was not going to be around all summer, so she thought she better just wait and apply at a later date. Okay. So I, I make a motion that we appoint Alicia Rennie to the library board. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. How many years is that for? Oh. That's the two year I position. Think it's I believe. It's a two year. Where's my book here? I forgot to bring my book in here. My book here. This, so there were. It's unclear. I mean, basically, they're three year positions, but they got. That's, Some in here that are two years, one it. year, depending on. I think someone who's appointed has to be reelected at the next town meeting, anyways. So we try to remember that. So we'll just appoint her for now. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a two year position. But we'll talk about it next town meeting. Yeah. Okay. We'll remember. Uh, we'll keep making notes. So, uh, emergency management director, any motion? I'm still working on it. Okay. 
animal control officer. It is official that Kim doesn't want to do it anymore, although he is still willing to work with somebody and have them use his kennel if necessary to kennel a dog if there's a stray. Um, Gary Clark has shown some interest, but he hasn't made a commitment. I just sent him our copy of our, or how to find our domestic pet ordinance today. He's going to look at that. We haven't had anybody volunteer to be on the zoning board. What about the agent to transfer real estate? Oh, God. Is that on here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's oh, okay. Yeah, we need to deal with that for um, our upcoming um, transfer of the real estate of the uh, Basically, the conservation restrictions. I don't, well, I'm always not clear whether agent to transfer means buy or sell or both. But in any case, um, I would be happy to be appointed that because um, I'm trying to get the closing scheduled for some time later this month, and I don't know whether it'll happen at the lawyers. At, our lawyer's office or at the seller's lawyer's office or somewhere in between. And I'm available during the day, so. I'll make a motion to appoint Diana Paduzzi as an agent to transfer real estate. Second. All those in favor? Aye. So mm -hmm. you're nominated okay. for you. one year. And thank you for your help. That should be plenty. So, I don't think, um, Robin, you did those letters. I don't think we did, Kim, for the... It wasn't one of the ones I saw. ...and dangerous building officer, so... Okay. You can do another letter on that. But Kim is willing. Kim hmm? Silk is willing. Yes. To stay with that. To that, those two, yeah. Okay. Let's just come in and deal with all this. Until we figure out our email fun. <laughs> so if you print that, if you make that letter, I'll just come in and. Okay. It and just, mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be in tomorrow evening. Okay. Regardless. Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure that they're. If that's if you're alright with that, mm -hmm. I'll come in during the evening hours tomorrow. Yep. Oh, good. We'll work through the rest. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. So I'll get you that Tim Neal letter too, so you can maybe. Can, I will work on that too. Yeah. That's technically under other business. Yeah, it we is. We're ready to switch gears. Okay. What? Well, it's not part of our appointments schedule. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Other business. <laughs> so we already talked about the Tim Neal letter. On that. I put together for each of you a little folder on the ARPA background so that we can, when it comes time to start making those decisions, we can have that handy. What's gone on so far? Which needs to be sooner rather than later. Mm. Uh, and the same with Nichols Dam Road. I put together some things. Great. Thank you. As you yeah. approved yeah. last time, I did send a, on a send this same information to our attorney to get his opinion. But we have not heard anything Right. Today. I just sent it last week. Great. Okay. So I thought next week, next two weeks we can put it on the agenda and if we have something to offer. And I do. The, uh, the, uh, I you know, don't know what to tell, what to call them, but the, uh, <laughs> The uh, people who have the land there, who put the gate up, they can come and show us what they've come up with. Sounds great. If anything. Yep. Okay. So we'll advertise it for our next meeting okay. after we've had a chance yep. to review it. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have something from the lawyer as well. Yeah. By then. So we can review that mm -hmm. and be as well prepared as possible. Mm-hmm. Personnel policy. 
Randy asked that that be on here, but she's not here, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make a motion to move personnel policy until the further review until the next meeting. Okay. I'll with the it. hopes of. Oh, I'll make the motion first. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, uh, comments on this is I'd like to make sure that before the next time we have this, everybody has reviewed the personnel policy as efficiently as possible and that we can have a cogent discussion of it and maybe even Aww. possibly, hypothetically, potentially, Aww. finally take the personnel policy Branches bending down low. <laughs> <laughs> into uh, move the personnel policy forward. Um, <sighs> but we really need a new personnel policy, an updated personnel policy. I so do, uh, this should be a priority. I have a question about it. I know we're going to talk about it at the next meeting, but oh, I the time. made it about so, halfway yeah. through, and I was confused. <laughs> so it seems like it's only for the road crew, like the way things are worded. Is it for all town employees, or is I it only for the I think there's a separate crew? section for the for the elected officials. The uh, but like like say like Robin. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's a separate section for that. Separate oh, section. That, okay, got there's it. Certain certain things that apply only to the elected officials. Right. Okay. Yep. So are so, the only people who are town employees who are not elected officials are the road crew. Yeah. Okay. They're the only yeah they're the only hired mm -hmm. employees. Got it. Else is elected or appointed. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, so that will be on the agenda for two weeks. Yeah. Okay. And we'll get as far we'll as we can. We'll do our homework. You know, yep. I did Let's give you a copy done. of uh, a copy at the last meeting, right? Of the most have, recent one that most, came through. I have the most recent one. The one that came from VLCT. And we will, we don't have to Make a decision, but we should have a real, real mm. serious discussion of it, which we have not done mm. for a long time. Mm. So it's time to do that while mm -hmm. you have a reasonably static select board. Yeah, and we have a someone who was actually involved in all the previous go rounds, which is you. <laughs> yeah, a year and a half worth of previous go rounds. After I don't know five years worth of previous go rounds. So yeah, I am wow. the senior member. <laughs> as creepy as that is. Oh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Any other points yeah. before we move into executive session for ongoing litigation? Pending IVSA 313A1E. I'll move that we enter executive session. A second. second. All, right. All those approved. Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. All right. So oh, we're, we're right now on time. In executive session <laughs> at 725.